Okay, which one am I? Bowser? Yeah, in this. Okay, I'm this no, guy. No, no, you're not. You that guy, and now you you that guy. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Hi. What's up guys? Um, I, it is Saturday. I've had both of my classes here for today. I am all done. I'm going to go hang out with my son. He's going to get dropped off here real soon so my wife can take birthday pictures. She's turning 40. <laughs> She's turning 40. Um, but what a great week. Uh, this week we had the Legends class. That's on Tuesday. It is growing. It's getting bigger. Um, we're adding people, family members. Um, it's going a lot better than I thought. It's been very consistent once a week. Um, and you know what? If I were to add all of those clients in with my total number, my total member number would be higher, but I'm just not adding them in right now. And of course, it's been a long week of studying. Uh, what I do is I print out like about four or five uh, CrossFit Journal articles. I take them home for the week and I start highlighting, as you can see. I got this one I'm working on. This is a really good art article about calories and I just feel so much better. It's one thing to read it, but it's another thing to study it and learn it because if you do that, you do start to feel like a different person. As for our members this week, uh, it was a great week of PRs, okay? Um, I'm gonna implement some highlights here of these guys lifting heavy on the deadlift, but I didn't get any shots of the back squat where Janice um, almost made it to 100 pounds. And I think the biggest difference now between before, right? Before I was a cheerleader coach, right? I would try to make people feel good. I would, you got this girl, oh yeah, you know, like you try to make people feel good. That's all you can do because you don't have the skill to get people better. Now I'm having conversations. I'm meeting one-on-one -on -one with people. I am creating progressions that are very, very difficult, okay? And I've had to really think about like how to make things harder in class, do it on a scalable, um, a scalable situation. And since I've been doing that, um, I've been getting people better, way faster. I also found Katie Hogan's YouTube channel. It's a CrossFit West Coast affiliate. She has two videos up right now and uh, it's very helpful. There's no comment section, which I really like that she did that uh, because not a lot of people are like me. I only leave um, nice comments to people. And, and if I do have something bad to say, I just don't say it. But I know the internet's not like that. So good idea for that. Um, it's, but it's really helpful because you're targeting the people that need it the most, which are us. And it's okay if it doesn't get a lot of views because the people that need to see it will see it. All right, last up, I'm always, I, I will admit this right here, I'm always trying to beat Coach Sandy at, at the gym. That's what they call her, Coach Sandy, um, Alessandra. I, and I haven't told her yet, and I feel bad. I feel bad that like I'm, I'm watching what weight she's doing and then I'll do the weight. And then like I'm really trying to beat her, I really am. <laughs> and I'm not even getting close, guys, not even close. Um, so maybe next week I'll let her know that I'm trying to beat her and uh, we'll see if that helps at all. <laughs>
What a great week. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Have a good weekend.